I, I'm so uh, excited to be back doing House of the Year. I mean, I, I, I loved it um, the first time around. Uh, there's something about the love that people have for their homes in Northern Ireland that, you know, you kind of don't get it anywhere else. There's a real engagement. There's a real feeling of individuality. I think that's the big thing, is that people aren't kind of like really bound up in this idea of what trends are or what everybody else is doing. They, they're aware of it, but they actually want to give it their own kind of spin. And one of the things that I think very much about, about this new uh, iteration, this new series, is the fact that, you know, 10 years later, 12 years later, after things like social media, Instagram, after all the programs, there's a real sense of, you know, increased design literacy as well. So the homes have just got better and better and better yeah. um, because they're, 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 people are getting better and better and better at expressing their own personal sense of style. Um, and this is one of the big things that we're, we're, we're now on the hunt for. It's not, we don't want you know, the, a particular sort of house at all. We don't want like, a particular style or a particular design. We just want houses where people have done their own thing. And that can be a bit, you know, it, for me, it should almost be a bit weird. It should almost be a bit kind of like, well, I wouldn't do that. But that's the whole point is that subjecti yeah. you know, subjectivity is incredibly important uh, in the way that you furnish your own home. You know, don't think, oh, it's all about, you know, architect designed, you know, big, uh, you know, modern houses on the edge of a cliff. You know, we've got that. That's great. There will be definitely a few of those. But actually, we're also looking for people who maybe you've just done it on a budget. Maybe you rent, you know, maybe you live on a houseboat, you know, maybe you live in a caravan. I don't, you know, yeah. anywhere that people have done something that is very much about who they are. Um, and. I, I remember this so clearly from, from um, uh, when we were doing the show before, that every time you spoke to people in Northern Ireland about their home and you asked them about an object, it wasn't just a kind of like a, oh yeah, we bought that at somewhere or another. They, they, there's a whole story behind it. Yeah. They might, you know, it might be from whatever, you know, Ikea or House of Rose or whatever, but they'll tell you what they had for lunch. Uh -huh. And they'll tell you, you know, <laughs> like what it was like and the fact that they had a row in the car on the way home. And you think, oh my God, that's how it should be. Actually, everything in your world should come with a story attached to it. It shouldn't just be, oh, I bought it because I thought it would look good or I bought it because my friend Jean's got one or, you know, I bought it because I saw it in a television program. Yeah. You know, here, it's a real emotional purchase. Um, and I think this is one of the joys of making a show like this is that we can, you know, we can celebrate that. You know, we can actually say this is different. This is special. Yeah. This is actually how, how your home should feel. Your home, when you, when, you, you know, when you go down in the morning, your home should be striking up a conversation with you, you know, saying, hey, remember me? You know, hey, isn't this a great thing? Don't you remember doing this? That's a really lovely space to inhabit. There's a real danger, I think, for people. If they're not careful, you end up just living in a show home.